Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ganesh Ramalingam and I'm from GNL Surgical Clinic. Today, we are going to answer the commonly asked questions about the procedure, the fundoplication. Let's go! Fundoplication is actually the surgical treatment for gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is actually the backflow of acid from the stomach to the esophagus that causes symptoms in the lower esophagus and this is mainly due to the laxity of the lower esophageal sphincter which is a muscle that hooks around the lower esophagus that prevents this backflow. Fundoplication is an operation or procedure that is done to tighten up this lower esophageal sphincter or the lower esophagus so that the backflow cannot occur. Fundoplication is a procedure that's recommended as a last resort. What that means is we start off with diet and lifestyle changes which is recommended by your doctors. Subsequently, there's medication that will treat both your acidity and your reflux symptoms. And finally, if all these fail with a certain set of guidelines, then the fundoplication is indicated. So essentially, everyone qualifies for a fundoplication unless you're not fit for surgery or you're too young for surgery or best case scenario if you can avoid surgery by modifying your diet and lifestyle so that you have minimal or no symptoms. They can be broadly categorized into two classifications. The first one is the general risk for any surgery you undergo, which is bleeding and infection. The second category will be the risk associated with the specific procedure called the fundoplication, which include tightness, whereby when you drink or eat something, there's a slight hold up just before it goes through the operation site. And secondly, burping, where there's gas being pushed up from the stomach into the esophagus and it manifests as burping. But these complications are very minimal and it's generally very safe to undergo this procedure. Also, the recurrence rate of your symptoms is very, very low. Minimally invasive procedure also means keyhole surgery or laparoscopic surgery. We usually start off with an interview with the doctor to see if you're fit for the surgery and to see if you actually qualify for the surgery in terms of your symptoms and in terms of managing the difficulties that you face. Once you're fit and qualified for surgery, my group of nurses and staff will speak to you with regard to the medications that you're taking, your preparations for the surgery, and all the other logistics that are, that are involved for the surgery. Then, we will bring you down for the surgery on the day of the, the procedure after you've fasted for at least 8 hours. You'll come down to the operating theatre and an anaesthetist will speak to you with regard to the general anaesthesia or the medication that is giving you to fall asleep. Subsequently, the pods will be placed. The pods are basically the operative sites where we can put our instruments in for the procedure. There will usually be four to five incisions in the abdominal wall, usually in a straight line and one above that in the upper part of your stomach. These range from 0.5 cm to 1.5 cm. Subsequently, air will be pumped into the abdominal cavity to create more space and this is called a pneumoperitoneum in medical terms and the procedure will commence. During the procedure, what we will do is wrap the stomach around the lower esophagus and this will create a nice valve and a restriction to the food that you eat and also to the acid that comes backward up. You can actually go home 24 to 48 hours after the procedure. Once you are comfortable with the discomfort, you're comfortable moving around and you're comfortable taking orally. Taking orally means taking liquid diet only for at least one to two weeks until the operative area heals better. Subsequently, I would also caution you from doing heavy activities or heavy work at least two to four weeks after the procedure to allow the external wounds to heal. If you have further questions on the gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD or the fundoplication procedure, please come over to our clinic for a visit. Or you can also contact us through our website, our email or WhatsApp 
or even our Facebook page. Thank you.